Hello there, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. My name is Ronald. If you're new here, first things first, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And so you never miss a bite because I mainly do cooking videos. But today we're going to be doing uh, basically a Luganda, more Luganda lesson, Luganda discussion. Kitchen themed. Kitchen themed, there you go. It's gonna be. So there's a lot of things as you can see we're going to be naming all that stuff and as i said in the video before this one here the luganda lesson if you have a theme what you want me to focus on uh maybe it has to do weather related maybe it has to do with maybe cl maybe wardrobe uh, maybe uh, i don't know kids you know miss like, school really anything yeah. that you want to know <clears throat> he can uh, fill you in. Absolutely. I mean, he's not a teacher, but he does speak it, so he definitely knows. There you have it. I know my wife here is getting learn a lot of things. First test. One second. Let's make a quick test. Do you remember to say how I love you in my language? Kwagala. Yes. Oh, oh, look at that. That's what you I know, mean. You know what it is? I doubt myself. <laughs> I, I often doubt myself when it comes to all this, um, but it was in my head. There you go. But you do remember it. So there you have it. Now, let's get started. So now, as you can see, everything we have here, we're going to name one by one in the kitchen. And uh, I don't know if my wife knows any of them, but I'm going to point them out for you. And then she's going to say them as I say them as well. I know you've said some of these, you know, and if you're not familiar, he has a word of the day. Yes. In every single video he does. Mm -hmm. I know that probably some of these have been covered, Pretty but much. I don't think I remember them. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll surprise myself. <laughs> okay. All right, so we start off from this side. Everything to do with kitchen related, right? Yeah, basically this is dish soap, right? Um, in my language, we say sabuni. Sabuni. Sabuni, yes. Even if it's a bath soap, it's also still sabuni, okay? That's so is that like the same kind of thing if you had soap in like the bathroom? Doesn't it's matter. A dull, a dull sabuni. Yes. Okay, that's one. And then I'm holding here, do you remember what this is? I know the English word for that. <laughs> okay. So this one here, we call it chijiko. Like a chi sound? Chi, yeah. Or chi? Chi. Chijiko. Chijiko. That's it. So that is your big spoon like that you use for your sauces. Is that the same thing for like a ladle? Yes. Okay. Except you can specify and say soup spoon or whatever mm. kind of thing. So then we have spices here, but some spices are narrowed down, so I won't go into all of them. But here we say this one is curry. So you say curry, but we say obunzari. Can I say that one again? <laughs> okay. Obunzari. Obun? Like o an Obu. Oh, it's just boo. Yeah, obunzali. Obunzali? Yes. Obunzali. Is that specifically curry? Powder? That's specific curry. Yes, oh. curry. So then, mm -hmm. uh, spices. Yeah. So in general, even this one too, if you're saying in general, say spices, because when it says spices, you're meaning everything in general, right? Yeah. So we say, ebirungo. Ebirungo. Yes, ebirungo is anything, any spice you're using, really. Uh, so that doesn't matter, that's not saying curry, that's no. saying spices. Spices. Then we have here, this is? Scissors. Scissors. We say makansi. Say it again. Makansi. Makansi? Makansi. Ninzi. Makansi. More like a C sound. Makansi. Yes, Makansi. There you have it right there. And then we have a knife. A knife. We say kambe. Khan or kam? Kam. Kambe. Kambe. Yes. So kambe. That's where we have it. And then we have here. Something like so that. So here you call this a wooden spatula. We say in my language, mulawo, mulawo. Mulawo. Yes. 
Okay. Malawo, that is, is that everything that's wooden? Pretty much. Typically anything which is made out of uh, Malawo typically is what we use when we're making posho, like that, yeah. if you guys saw me making that's posho, what whatever. Or when you're making palenta, uh, typically we use the same thing. So, Molao. Then, what do you call this? A sponge. A sponge. So, this one here uh, is more like a longer word, a bit. Uh -huh. um, so, we say, a cosa ebintu. Cosa is to wash. What part of that is dishes and what part of that is sponge? So, okay, listen. So, cosa is washing. Uh -huh. Bintu is dishes. Bintu. Bintu. Things, it also can be referred as to things. So, koza bintu. Koza bintu. Yes. Precisely. But that's, is that specifically sponge? No. Or is that anything? Anything you, you use to wash dishes with. Okay. So, even if you, you happen to be using maybe a towel like this. Yes. For dishes, this is going to be your koza bintu. Oh, okay. There you go. And now that I have this, what do you call this? Towel. Towel. Okay. So in my language, you will say Kasimula. 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 Yes. So Kasimula, that's what we use, you know, whatever you use to wipe anything. So again, the word Simula is basically to erase or to clean. Yeah. So Kasimula is more like within, just like I said, Cause I mean, with it's within the action again, casimula, like as in, I say, mm, simula, as in cleaning, erasing, or whatever, mm. right? And then next here, we have what do you call this? Hot pot. So, no, the one you smoke. Uh, oh, sure, anyways, moving on. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> there's even probably a more proper term for that, but that's what I call it. Yes, so of course there's different types of pots, yeah. sauce pots and soup pots and yes. so on and so forth depending if you know what I'm talking about. But here, what we have, when you said pot, we say se pichi. Se pichi? Yes. So se pichi, again it could be big, small or whatever, we're just making it general. Just like when you said pot. So you can say pot for a big one or yeah. small or whatever. So yes. se pichi is essentially any size any cooking vessel like that like this yes then we have in here actually sugar so in my language we say sukali sukali yes that's Su sugar that is sugar so sukali is sugar and then we have here what do you call this I think you'd call that a skewer. Essentially, yes. So it's a skewer. Um, in my language, we say mosito. Mosito. Yes, mosito. So yes, put on meat or whatever, vegetables, yeah. something yeah. that be mosito. Then, what do you call this? Sieve. Yeah, mother sieve. Yeah. So this sieve here, we call this in my oh. language kasengeja. Say that again. Kasengeja. And I'm supposed to say it that slow, or are you just saying you that can, for me? Uh, for you, so you can hear the oh. how the each syllable. Kasengeja. Absolutely, Kasengeja. And then we have last. In my language, <laughs> it doesn't change. So we say girasi. You say glass. We say girasi. So you do the GL very pretty much. Huh. Giras. Bowl. Bowl. We say bakuli. Bakuli? Yes. We also have here same thing here. It's actually gonna be the same name. It's in a form of a bowl. So bakuli. So it doesn't matter in size. Yes. Okay. How did you say mixing well, bowls? Well or you something? right, you can specify it, right? Yeah. To like say soup bowl. Next, we utensils. have utensils. In general, back home, we say, we could just say ebiri swa. Oh, okay, that, that's too much. I'll, I'll leave that alone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a little. Yeah, ebiri swa. So, uh, something basically used to eat food with. 
It's a lot. Don't bite your tongue. Uh, you could. I, I also don't think I'm even saying it right. But we typically say ebijiko. Although this is the chijiko, that's chijiko. This is a fork. But typically when they say uh, my mom or whatever someone will say, can you go bring the utensils? Let ebijiko tulie. Like bring utensils so we can eat. Bring utensils so we can eat. Let ebijiko. Meaning everything. But narrow this down chijiko same as where we were here yeah except chijiko cha supu so soup spoon oh, okay but well, yeah as in but this is a soup spoon mm -hmm. this is soup spoon for getting soup right mm -hmm. but this is for actually eating soup right so chijiko cha supu chijiko Cha chai. That... So chai is tea. Okay. Chai. So uh to specify I guess as you can see the sizes guys. Um so chijiko cha supu. Mm. Chijiko cha chai. Then we come to the fork. Mm -hmm. Actually it doesn't change. Again, as far as remember, it is four <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You know what? What what interests me, and I don't mean any offense when I say this, is you get you go from the most complicated way to say something to the easiest way to say something. I know, right? And I mean, I know English is the same. Don't get me wrong, but obviously, as somebody who speaks the language, it doesn't seem all that odd. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So since we talked about. Chijiko cha chai. We have this is basically I thought that was the tea leaves. For tea. Yeah, chai is the actual drink. Okay. But we're talking about there's a different drink. Oh, because it's tea not and yet? the tea bag. Yes. Oh. So um so this is right here it's basically tea bag or tea leaves. Yeah. In here. Mm -hmm. Um we say majani. Say it again? Majani. Majani. Oh, yes. That's a tea bag or tea leaves. Tea leaves, basically. My but jan. once it's made into a cup, then you have you then have it's chai. chai. Okay. Yes. That's the word I knew. I didn't know that one. There you go. So then we have this right here. Plate. Dinner plate. We say sowani. 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 And that's it for that. And then here we already had it here, so we have. Avocado. Avocado. My favorite. Now, avocado. Let's just go with avocado. Ova. Avocado. They changed the spelling then. Pretty much. Avocado. Avocado. But if you were in Uganda and you said avocado, people would know what you were talking about. Uh, most, most, most likely. Yeah. Some might relate. Um, then we have oil. That looks like vegetable it, oil. It doesn't matter. I won't specify the type of oil, oh, but okay. say. I'll say oil. We say buto. Buto. That's it. Buto. So is that just cooking oil or is that any oil? Like any oil, oil for lamps and. Nope. Any oil. Okay. No, oil. Okay, hold up. Don't talk about lamps. That's be completely separately. That, oh. That's separate. I'm talking about kitchen related. So it's, it is cooking oil. Buto, yes. Of course, we have like mozigo will be like butter, right? But mm. I'm talking about liquid. Liquid oil. Buto. So Buto. if you have butter or ghee or uh, margarine, that would be muzigo. 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 So buto is any oil liquid like that. All right. So what what would you call this? Sure. Yeah. You can call this a cooking rack. We say. I'm not even gonna guess. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Katimba. 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 Okay. Uh, but also katimba could relate to so many things as well. Mm. Katimba could be actually a net in general. Oh. A net like you know your the ones you use to cover yourself to avoid mosquitoes or oh, maybe around a, your bed. Yeah, or maybe yeah. a net for fishing or whatever. But yeah, but this is more like a barbecue one or something like yeah. that. Oven for so katimba. Okay. Then, so we have. Bananas here. Mm -hmm. Um, we say so I'll set with one. Liemvu. Say it again. 
Lienvu. Lienvu? Yes, Lienvu. But you said that's one. That's one. Okay. So all of them we say Menvu. 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 Uh, I think Menvu. you've done that before. Like the M sound is for multiples. Yes, usually. Yeah. Depending. Okay. Yeah. So then we have. Uh, we had a. We have like a grocery bag, so whichever you get from anywhere, doesn't matter. Um, grocery bag, we say Cavela. 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 That is, that'll be the bag right there. Mm. Then we have here, what do you call this? A flask. A flask. Or Some a people thermos. will say summer. We just say. I, I'm more familiar with thermos but I say flask because that's what you call it right because it that's a uh, those of you who don't know me um, I come from Uganda mm -hmm. and I we were colonized mm -hmm. by the British yeah and uh, so we spoke more uh, British English he also says things like um, the boot of the car right and a few other British things that we had to oh that the funny thing uh, when we were first, I had, well we had been dating for a while, but we were living together by then. He called clothespins pegs, and I didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> there you have it. See, it's not because someone is wrong. No. Maybe they are speaking a different transit. Tra it's the same thing. It's English. just different uh, terms, and it's British English and Canadian English. Canadian, and now there's American, <laughs> whatever it is. Well, mix. yeah, there's so so, so many things. So. Again, we say it's summer or flasic or yeah. we say flaska. Flaska? Flaska. Oh, okay, that's easy. In a nutshell, that is everything we've talked about. Each of those items, as you can see. So, once again, if you have a theme and you are in this thing, you want to learn a little bit about Luganda, please throw that my way and we'll be made, able to make that for you. By the way, my Fosso has a YouTube channel. It's called Respect is Growing. Yeah. Tell us about it. What do you do there? I do many things on that channel. There's cleaning videos or tidying videos. Of course, with the toddler, there's a lot of tidying and laundry ah. even. <laughs> but um, it's really anything that kind of falls under the stay-at-home mom realm right. uh, and, or family life. So I also do the budgeting videos something that might affect everyday people yeah uh, and yeah things that I find interesting there you go so check her out I'm typically on her side anyway so I hope to see you there now make sure you give me a thumbs up make sure you like share subscribe so you never miss a bite and what about now well we gotta go <laughs> bye guys see you next time <laughs>